Tony here from Your Past is a Gift. Okay, so today I just wanted to talk to you. Uh, there's a few things on my mind that have happened in this last week that I wanted to share with you. Uh, the first one was, uh, I'll dedicate this video to that I guess. Um, we were in the car, okay, and my daughter's sitting in the back seat and a song that's been on the radio now um, for a few weeks, that one that um, talks about it hurts when you hurt somebody Too much to say but I don't speak Cause it hurts when you hurt somebody That one. Uh, it's been going on for a while on the radio and she just, I think she's only just starting to listen to the words of the songs and picking up that they mean something, you know, that songs just aren't about how musical they sound or how nice the melody is but there's actual words that mean something. And so she's sitting in the back and she says to me, Mom, what does that mean? And I said, what? Because I didn't know what she was talking about. And she said, what does it mean? It hurts when you hurt somebody, you know? And so I had to explain to her, you know, in the simplest way that I could. And today I'd like to dedicate this to all the children out there that don't understand what that means. It hurts when you hurt somebody. Because when you hurt somebody, when you're mean to them, when you're rude to them, when you do something that hurts someone's feelings, or it hurts them physically, you know, if you're hitting them or kicking them or doing something physical that hurts them, it makes you feel bad inside about who you are. And also, you know, if you're a little bit older, you might be able to grasp as well that it comes from a place of you not feeling good in the first place because you don't feel good inside is that you feel that you need to hurt others it's already coming from that place but made more simple even for a six-year-old to understand because as soon as I said it she said oh you know she understood straight away when you hurt others when you're rude to them you're mean to them, you put them down in any way that makes them feel bad. You feel bad inside for what you've done, for what you've said. Straight away, you feel bad. You carry that. But for those that are a little bit older, a little bit more advanced and can understand a little bit more, we usually treat others that way because we feel bad inside already. There is pain in us. A pain of not being good enough, or a pain of not being worthy. A feeling that we don't deserve something. We don't deserve someone's love. We don't deserve someone's time. And it's that unworthiness and that feeling of not being good enough that makes us flash out at others. Because all we want, especially as children, all we want is to be seen for the beautiful, magnificent being that's inside, that little soul that resides inside that body. It just wants to be acknowledged. It wants to be seen. It wants to dance and rejoice and be happy in the knowledge that you see that little spirit and you're happy to share your life with that little spirit. It's all it wants. And when it doesn't get that, when it feels rejected, when it feels unwanted, all these feelings come up. Anger or sadness. Or fears are sometimes created from that as well. We become afraid. We don't feel safe. We don't feel protected. Unwanted. So yes, it hurts when you hurt another person. And that hurt is a pain that's already inside of you. The pain is already there because you feel that you're not good enough in some way or you feel that you're not worthy. And that's what creates that pain that makes you hurt others. Because when you feel confident, when you feel good about who you are, all you do is lift up others. You want them to know how good it feels. So today I want you to really embrace that idea 
that it hurts when you hurt somebody. But from all the aspects of it, not just it makes you feel bad, but also look at the pain from where it comes from. Because there is a pain there that makes you behave in that way. It's that pain that you have to look at. Why is it there? What does it mean to you? Because we all create a different pain in our childhood. Some of us, depending on our experience, but you could have the simplest experience because honestly, I look at my childhood and I think mine was the simplest experience. It wasn't complicated. You know, I wasn't abused sexually. I wasn't abused physically. You know, the smacks my mum gave me, I'd hardly call that physical abuse, you know, compared to what they went through in their childhood. That was physical abuse. You know, but a smack here or there to correct something that's, you know, that they find they don't approve of. They don't approve of that behaviour and somehow the adult has to correct it. And that's the only way they know how. Is through the smacking or through the yelling or through whatever other means they use, you know? But I was one of hundreds of kids that were smacked when they were little. It was so common, you know? I mean, my neighbors, you could hear them yelling when they got in trouble because their dad would pull out the belt and he would slap them with the belt, you know? At least we were never smacked with that. It was a bare hand. But, you know, I look back at my childhood and I think it was so simple to have caused or created, you know, this huge effect into my adult life that I've carried for so, so, so many years. It doesn't have to be complicated for you to create something that doesn't serve you, you know, that makes you feel bad about who you are. It doesn't have to be a huge thing. So don't feel bad if it was something simple like mine. You know, my sister was born, I was five years old, and that was it for the rest of my life. I carry this label of feeling unwanted. It can be that simple. And yet our minds create this belief that we're unwanted, that we're no longer loved, that we're not worthy of that person's love anymore. All of these things, and you carry them, and they make you feel bad. Nobody wants to be unwanted. Nobody wants to come into the world and feel unlovable. That's the truth of it. All right, my darlings, I love you guys. Remember to click like and subscribe below so you don't miss any of the messages. And write to me in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. What do you think when you hear the song, It Hurts When You Hurt Somebody? How does it make you feel? Listen to the words. It's a great song. Right, my darlings, I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.